seriously. Wallahi, it's not that easy. It's not something that you will learn within five minutes. It's not, okay, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, oh, mashallah. Okay, I'm, I'm one, of this, one of these groups. You will see why. When we go into the actual characteristics of them, you will see what we have to learn and how much we have to do until we reach that particular point. طيب. Either, uh, this is what Allah said about them. The Prophet وسلم, said about them, the Hadith of Bukhari Muslim, Hadith of Ibn Mas'ud, nas qarni thumma alladheena yalunahum thumma alladheena yalunahum <coughs> The best of mankind. The best of mankind after the Prophets. My generation is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. This is the summary, this is the crux of the whole matter. If we understood this correctly, all of our issues will be resolved bi idnillah. If we understand that the best people are the Sahaba and the Tabi'een and Atba'a Tabi'een, so we live Islam and understand it and apply it per their understanding, then we have started to travel upon the path, the path of that one group. Until then, no. And I will give you a, a, a practical example that happened to me this morning. One of the brothers who belong, maybe he belongs to one of these sects, anyways, he follows the Hanafi Madhab blindly. Mashi, we're not saying that those who follow the Hanafi Madhab are not part of this path, but that's a, a sign of danger. He comes to the masjid every morning, and he prays four rakat. So, as I told you before, the masjid is the place for Amr bil Ma'roof wa Na'al Munkar. You don't be quiet, you have to speak. Said the Akhi Barakallah I noticed that you pray four rakat. You don't assume, just so you won't wrong him, what are you praying? I know what he's praying. I know he's praying the al masjid, then the Sunnah of Fajr. But I don't say that because I may be wrong. He said, no, that's not what I'm doing. So I said, what are you praying? He said, Tahiyyat al masjid. Then Sunnah al Fajr. I said, listen, Akhi, Tahiyyat al Masjid is a salah which is done when there's nothing else to pray. Yani if you come into the masjid and there's nothing else for you to do, there's no salah for you to pray, then you don't sit down until you pray, and we call that two rak'at Tahiyyat al Masjid. If there's another intention, if you want to pray the Sunnah of Fajr or the Sunnah of Dhuhr or the Sunnah of Maghrib or whatever, then you no longer have the Sunnah of Maghrib, as because you know, that's after Maghrib, any other Sunnah. Then you no longer have to pray Tahiyyat al Masjid. You don't even have that intention anymore. Tahiyyat al Masjid is dropped because the whole idea is that don't sit down until you pray. And if you pray the Sunnah of Fajr, you've done your job. So the brother said, No. Why are you saying that? I said, Because this is a time of prohibition of Salah. And the only thing the Prophet did, he prayed the Turaqa'at al Fajr. So you can't pray more than that. The Sahaba didn't pray more than that. You have to stick to that. The whole idea of the Hayat al Masjid is not. Now, it didn't get pretty, it got ugly. And one of, the, one of the ways of the people of desires is what? Turning the tables around. When he, was, when he wasn't able to answer me, he said, Yeah, where's your cap? I'm wearing a cap now. I wasn't wearing one in the masjid. I said, What does the cap have to do with this? They said, You're saying Sunnah, Sunnah. What well, Sunnah are you telling me not to do? Where's your cap? Is it a cap sunnah? He said, listen, Akhi, we don't want to now shift the issue. Because we can shift it, and I can prove to you that it is not a sunnah. Where are your leather sandals like that of the Prophet ﷺ? Where are they? And what is this you wear? Why aren't you wearing like the Messenger of Allah? Did he wear a white coat like this with these buttons? Now he wasn't able to answer. Then he said, of course, when he, we reached this dead end, he said, leave me alone. Now listen, I'm just trying to teach you something. He came this morning. He prayed six rakat. Allah al Wallahi. I'm sitting there like, man, this brother, man, really wants to start trouble with me, Akhi. You know, I don't know what's up with these people, man, but anyways, that's life. Six rakat. I wonder where the other two came from, but I didn't, I was going to be quiet. I said, you know what, it's going to cause fitna in the masjid, because sometimes if, enjo if forbidding the evil will create more evil, you zip it. As soon as he finished, he spoke to me. Salam alaikum, alaikum salam. I try to be nice and barakallah, good to see you again. Uh, he said, you told me yesterday about the hate in masjid. He said, yes. And he made me explain to him the whole thing again. He said, yeah. He pulled out a piece of paper from his, from his pocket. He said, this hadith in Bukhari Sharif. Bukhari Sharif, beautiful. Bukhari, no problem with me. He said, the hadith says that between every, and he wrote it in Arabic, with the tashkil, with the fatha, dhamma, kasra. Two narrations. He said, the hadith says 
between every adhan and iqama, there are two rak'at. I said, okay. He said, so, what's wrong with, why are you stopping me? The hadith says that I can pray two rak'at between adhan and iqama. I said, yeah, what does that have to do with our issue? Tayyib, no problem between every adhan and iqama. You can pray two rak'at. He said, so I'm praying tahid al masjid. Meaning the hadith says you can pray. It doesn't say rak'at. It just says pray. There's a prayer. He said, that means I can pray. I said, Habibi, you cannot bring one hadith from Bukhari without looking into other textual evidences and apply it according to your understanding. This is not the way of the people of that one path, by the way. You cannot just read a hadith of Bukhari. Khalas, brother. I said, this is aam. This is general. And you must look into other specifying narrations. A hadith khasa. To khasis al hadith. We went back and forth. Dead end. Then I remember by Allah's grace, these new technology, which I hope that you use it for da'wah and not for entertainment. The whole Islamic library is here. And I have uh, uh, books of Hanafi fiqh. Hanafi fiqh. I went into the book of the Ahnaf, into the book of fiqh al-ibadat, for some person called uh, Hajj, uh, something in Hanbali, or uh, Hanbi, something along these lines. And I put Rak'atayi al-Fajr. And it says, among the times when it is disliked to pray, and they quoted Fajr, and there's a hadith from the Prophet says, La salah, there's no salah after, after the time of Fajr except Rak'atayi al-Fajr. And he was like dumbfounded, like, I said, Akhi, see here, it says, Al-Fiqh Al-Hanafi. I know he's a Hanafi. Al-Fiqh Al-Hanafi. This is your scholars, and this is the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi telling you, don't pray anything after Fajr comes in except the two rak'ah of Fajr. And the conversation ended. What is the point? The point is that the people who, or who go on that path don't use this methodology. I don't go searching for one hadith in Bukhari Muslim and say, no, I will apply it in this fashion according to my desires because I understand. No. How did the Sahaba understand it? And what did the Prophet really say? And are there other narrations which further explain it? After we get all this investigation out of the way and we have clarity upon the Sunnah, then and only then I act upon the Sunnah. I don't follow desires. You see the difference? This is the quality of the people of that path. They, are, they, they must refer to the khayrun nas, to the best of generations, the best of people they must, because they understood these narrations, they conveyed them to us. If the Sahaba never prayed more than two rak'at between the Adhan of Fajr and the Iqama, then you don't pray any more than that, because you're not better than them, and you sure don't understand the deen better than they did. Clear? Beautiful. That was alhamdulillah. Allah decrees that these things happen before the lectures, so they can be integrated with the event, so you won't think I'm crazy. طيب. Their characteristics.